Are you concerned that you or your child may have dyscalculia, also known as math dyslexia? Dyscalculia is just as common as dyslexia, just not as well known, so it may have been missed in school. In this video, I will quickly cover the signs of dyscalculia so that you can decide if you need to dig deeper. If you are seeing any of these symptoms, then just jump to the description, and there you will find a free online dyscalculia test that will dive in much deeper and also give you solutions. Fill it out and you'll be emailed a full report in minutes. To find out if you need that test, just go through this video. And if you or your child are experiencing any of these symptoms, simply click through to that free test. Let's get started. There are often early signs of dyscalculia, even in preschool and kindergarten. Let's go through those first. Here they are. A difficulty in remembering the names of numbers. Trouble learning to count. Trouble learning to count by twos or threes can count, but when counting objects, makes mistakes. Difficulty recognizing numbers. They may see twos as z's. May not understand that numbers stand for quantities. May not understand the concept of more or less. Difficulty with patterns, such as smallest to largest or shortest to tallest. May avoid games that use numbers or dice. May not understand that the symbol for a number and its written version are the same thing. In other words, the number two and the word two just doesn't seem to have number sense. In elementary school, dyscalculia becomes more obvious. Here are the signs you may see in elementary school. A difficulty lining up numbers when solving math problems. Difficulty remembering addition and subtraction facts, such as two plus two equals four. Mixes up math symbols, such as plus signs and multiplication symbols. Is still using fingers to count. Struggles with math concepts, such as greater than or less than. Struggles with size concepts, such as bigger and smaller, or longer and shorter. Struggles with time concepts, such as before and after. Struggles with position concepts, such as right or left, or under and over. Has difficulty learning to read the time on an analog clock. Difficulty with time concepts, such as if it's now 1.30, how long is it until it's 2 o'clock? Has a difficulty learning coordination sequences, such as dance moves. Has math anxiety. Guesses at math answers. Loses place when counting by numbers. Has to constantly relearn math concepts. Can't remember times tables. Has a difficulty with organization. Has a difficulty understanding calendars. Math just seems like a foreign language. Has trouble measuring ingredients for a recipe. Once a dyscalculiac is in high school or is even an adult, things get even worse. Here are the signs of dyscalculia in older children or adults. Difficulty remembering phone numbers or dates or addresses. Difficulty with money. This can show up when counting back change. Or a difficulty with budgeting or finances. Or splitting a restaurant bill between friends. Even tipping. Difficulty with directions on a map. Difficulty following instructions. Difficulty understanding graphs and charts. Difficulty estimating distances and speeds. This probably won't get you out of a speeding ticket, but you could try it. A difficulty estimating how long a task will take, or estimating time in any way. This may show up as always being late. Skipping over numbers when reading. If any of these are problems that you or your child are experiencing, then jump down to the description and click the link to a free deep dive dyscalculia screener. If not, and your child is having trouble in school, then you may want to watch this video, Bad Grades in Elementary School, next. And if your child is struggling in school, whether it's dyscalculia or not, start them on a free trial of the Learning Success System, because you'll want to get them back on track as quickly as possible. Just click the link in the description to start your free trial today. Thanks for watching.